So the first place I was going to show you is the laundry building. Laundry room? Laundry building? Here it is. Nobody's in here. So this is the laundry room. You have your horseshoes here. 225. I was just in here yesterday. I met some people that lived here. Grilled them for information. Or they lived here about five or six months out of the year. It really is, I didn't mention, it's really too hot to be here in the summer, though I imagine some people do. Uh, 75 cents got my uh, clothes dry. Except for the jeans, I put an extra 25 in there. I can't remember how long it runs. But yeah, um, yeah, I grilled them for information. It was interesting. Uh, yeah, it gets really hot in the summer, over 100. Was it June, July, August? And so most people leave, but you can stay if you if you pay annual. But like I said, there's no electric hookups, so it gets hot. And I'm gonna take you to the library and the community center also. Let's see, this is nice. You can hang your clothes here on the drip line you wish. And we'll go back to the main office. So I did talk to the guy in the office today and he said if you go on a month-to-month -month basis you can park anywhere you want. Sometimes it's hard to tell where you can park because some of the spots have these rocks won't let you into the drive there like that. But we're up front in the front of in the front of the park right now. So here's their library. Got quite a collection of books. If you have books, you can bring them in here, put them here. And I guess they put them up for you. Somebody does. But yeah. Oh. Huh. Okay, I'll have to look at that before I leave. Um. Yeah. So these are all the paperbacks. You also get better Wi-Fi in here, apparently. coffee maker and then you just put the, the time on this when if you made some yeah if you need a cup uh, if you have something you just need to get rid of something that's you know still in good shape nothing gross good go it's a bathroom And uh, smart books, the hardcovers over here. And just like movies. First aid kit. And a uh, uh, defibrillator. Uh, the community room. I saw him playing cards in here the first day I was here. Your puzzles. Different games. You can pause and look at this. Let me see if I can get a good view on it. Hmm. Rules, the card games. Yes, they actually do have an Al-Anon and Alcoholics Anonymous meetings here.
on the outside, there's a bunch of guys out there right now, but on the outside there's, um, oh, with organ, pipe, cactus, surrounding areas right there. Um, bulletin board where you can buy and sell things and all that. People that want to play cribbage, I don't know what that is, or this thing. Tournaments. Just nice little community room. There's a computer here. And a computer with a printer. Yeah. And said so I came in yesterday, I was in the library. You know, the first day I got here and there were a bunch of tables, people around the tables playing games. I, the guy I talked to at the laundromat yesterday said he plays three times a week. So there's just all kinds of stuff going on. You iron. It looks like some kind of sewing thing is going on. They said anything you want, any kind of meeting you want, you just sign up and uh, you can start us like a sewing group. I was wondering if they had gardening, but I'll find out next year. But you can start a group or, yeah, and people will join. The clubhouse rules. You can pause and read those. Etiquette. And yeah, this is just really, really nice. Refrigerator, even. You're not supposed to cook or eat anything in here, it said. Well, okay. I might grab couple of these books while I'm here. Hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing great. I did that, those videos of the amenities there at that RV park for those of you who would be interested in going to a park like that in the nice warm Arizona desert. <laughs> but um, I really liked it there. I thought it was just a really comfortable place. As long as you have solar, it's inexpensive, and I really liked it. I might go back there next year. Never know. I don't even know what I'm doing in two days, let alone what I'm going to do this coming winter. But anyway, I was actually, when I was recording, after I got done recording that, I ran into a lady there in the clubhouse, and I got to talking to her, and they pretty much have a little group or club thing for anything you would be interested in. You can just start one. And I asked her if they had a, a gardening one. And she said, yes, she didn't know too much about it, but there is a gardening club. And she said they did a lot of the landscaping around there during the winter months. And there's karaoke and, you know, game night. You saw the game nights and everything. Uh, she, she ran the craft crafts there. They do crafts once a week for a couple of hours. Um, yeah, it just, it sounds like a fantastic place, and yeah, I, maybe I'll spend a month or two there next year. I don't know. Anyway, I thought there were uh, some of you that would be interested. All you would need is some solar panels or a generator. Um, solar's great because you buy the solar and that's it. Your electricity's free after that, so... Okay, let's see what else we doing here. Yeah, I don't know. I was saying I don't know what I'm going to be doing at the end of this week even. And it's because I was going to stay here at this lovely BLM area for another week. But the weather is going to chase me out. If it was only one day of really hot weather, I would be fine. But it is three days. And the place I am going to after this is going to get some rain. And I can't get stuck there. The sand is very soft there. And I don't want to get stuck there. So I'm kind of having to rearrange what I had planned. And I'm going to have to leave here. Uh, yeah, I have a thing about never change your campground on fr Fridays or Saturdays. Because you might the next place you go, you might not have a place to stay. So that means I have to either leave Thursday or Sunday. And because of the rain coming in and oh, the hot weather that starts on Saturday, I'm pretty much going to have to leave on Thursday. That's okay. Whatever. It's weird. Um, I was looking at the calendar last night 
and I was looking at it and I said, when did I leave? And I got to look at it, it two weeks. I left two weeks ago. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. I couldn't believe it. I kept, I kept looking at it going, how can it only be two weeks? I feel like I've been gone a month. It's just the most amazing thing. I've been so many places. I've seen so many things and done so many things. I can't believe I did that all in two weeks. And plus I've been here for a week of it. So <laughs> I don't know. How is that even possible? But that's what it is. It's been two weeks. It feels like a month. Uh, yeah, it's just amazing. Just amazing to me. It was weird when I, I left. The first couple days after I left, I got kind of homesick for New Mexico. I wanted to go back, but of course I wasn't going to. I had to force myself to do things and um, get to get to get rolling, you know. And now here it is, two weeks later, and I'm not all that enthusiastic about going back to New Mexico. But I have some things I have to do there, so I will have to go back, and I am headed to my brother's. I have some obligations there, so yeah. I thought I was gonna stay here another week and go back next week, but it looks like I'm going to start heading back on Thursday, as I said. It's okay. I did wanna say one other thing is that um, when I went to record, all these amenities at that by the way that park is called coyote house east there you go in why um, when I was recording that stuff I was only gone for about 30 minutes and when I came back some critter some critter of some sort totally ate my call 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 Robbie right down to the ground gone absolutely gone the only thing growing in there now is onions um they got to my yod fod too they ate they pulled one completely out of the ground or it pulled one completely out of the ground those things were pretty high they probably chopped them off about halfway across and i wasn't too concerned it hurt a little of course <laughs> but it's kind of i was going to use it as a cut and come again anyway so it would just keep growing as long as there were still leaves on it it was not chowed down to the ground and yeah they have already bounced back from that though they're a lot shorter than they should be the carrots yeah they were just little true leaves sticking up and they kind of whacked on those so I don't know whether I'll have carrots or not and probably the worst thing that happened I did and it was just a few days ago, I, I always put my veggies in the van at night because I lost all my spring veggies last year to critters and stuff. And I didn't, I didn't want a repeat of that. So I've been real good about guarding them until that day. <laughs> um, so when I was taking them out the next morning, one of the lettuce pots slipped out of my hand, fell upside down, and I lost everything. And that was the one that was doing good. Of course it was the one that was doing good. It was the European lettuce mix. It's gone. It was completely gone. I, you could hear me cussing a mile away, I, I have a feeling. That hurt, you know, because I did it myself. But um, I reseeded it. Now, see, I did the reseeding last year when I lost everything, and it just it was too late. The weather got too warm, and the stuff just never took off. So I, I went ahead and did it anyway. I reseeded it. We'll see what happens. Something's already popped up. But I wanted to show you those things before I sign off here. So for those of you who have no wish at all to see what havoc was wrought in my garden and really don't care about it at all, I'm going to say goodbye right now. I hope you are doing well. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. And for those of you that want to see my garden, we're gonna head out there right now. So hold on a second. Okay, this is the one that had the carrots in it. There's a few coming up. 
But yes, yeah, something got in there and gnawed on those. This is my nasturtiums, and they're doing good. Well, we'll have to see. I'm not good at carrots anyway. This was the Rocky Top Lettuce Bowl, and it's fine. It's growing very slowly. And this is the one I dumped. And it had all kinds of wonderful European lettuces with some brassicas and stuff in it. It's gone. It's already got a couple coming up again. In just a couple days. I think I planted these three or four days ago. Reseeded it. But I don't know if they'll make it or not. Let's go over here and look at... Okay, so you can see where the Yadfa was eaten. These were pretty doggone high. At least like up to here. And they took a good two inches off the top of them. But they're still going. And I did lose one. I think down at this end. But yeah, you can see where they were eating on. This is my arugula. It's doing fine. I munch on that all the time. Spinach. Uh, the little uh, bok choy, little bite-sized bok choy. They're doing real good. And uh, spinach. It's the mustard's really taken off now. I might have to thin that. And this is also baby bok choys here. And uh, there's radishes in here. A few. I might plant some more. But yeah, that's that's doing good. And the odd pot is bouncing back from that. You can see. Now, I don't know. Here's my peas. They nibbled a little, but not too much. So they're doing good. You see how tall they're getting here. I'll come from an angle. Um, if I personally was a little desert mouse... I would go straight for the peas, but they didn't, which is kind of weird to me. And I didn't have any trouble with my peas last year when the critters were getting into my other spring vegetables. So I just think that's very strange, personally, because I like peas. I would assume they would too. I'm wrong. And I was just looking at this, and I was surprised because I had lots of onions, and now they're gone. And I look at them, and something has eaten my onions. There were a bunch of them up. So, they're still coming up though. So now this is just going to be a big old pot of onions for now because somebody got the three call Robbies I had in here. You can't even see them. They're gone. So now I'm looking at this and going, who's eating the onion tops? Ah. So anyway, it is a, a real trial to keep the critters from eating these things. Now I ran down, it was only gone for like 30 minutes and I threw my netting over these. But uh, if it was a longer amount of time, I would have just stuck them in the van. Anyway, I'm going to let you go for now. Oh, see, that's a pretty view. There's a neighbor over there. Anyway, I hope you all are doing well. And um, I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.